So guys, let us talk about the confraternity war that is currently going on in Ibozo, right there in Delta State, between Black Ass and Supreme Vikings confraternity. Now, this confraternity war between these two groups has nothing to do with the previous confraternity war that was in the city between both of them. This particular confraternity war is a fresh war that started two days ago, and from that two days ago till yesterday, two people is said to have been brought down so in this video i am going to tell you guys how this confraternity war started again and i will tell you the people that were brought down and who brought them down but before i go into the video i quickly want to make mention of what is also going on in Oguashuku. for those of you that don't know Oguashuku is also in delta state as a matter of fact Oguashuku is a neighboring community to Ibuzo. Like these two places are very close to the extent that when there is a confraternity war in one of the cities, people go from one city to another. That is to tell you the proximity of these two communities. So for that of Oguashuku, the incident that happened was between Black Ass and Supreme AA confraternity. And it happened inside Oguashuku Polytechnic. A young man who is said to be a member of AA was shot by some members of Black Eyes and for those that are in the Envy family telegram and also in the Envy family WhatsApp, you must have seen when I posted the picture of the young man that was shot in his back and the bullet just spread all over his back and we were discussing this particular incident in the NV family WhatsApp. A lot of us had believed that the young man that was shot was saved by Otomokbo because the young man is alive and he is doing fine. But a lot of people that have more experience had said that this had nothing to do with Otomokbo. They said that the bullet penetrated the young man but it is a different kind of bullet. There is a way this particular bullet acts. It spreads and it goes into the body of the person so you might think that the person is not affected they said if this young man does not go for x-ray to get himself properly treated this might become fatal in the future they said he might just sleep and not wake up because the bullets are going to melt into his bloodstream this is what some people that know better in the envy family we were saying yesterday now what really caused this altercation between these two groups in Oguashuku is not really known i'm sure most of you have already heard when i posted some of the voice notes but an AM member had said that they were sitting on their own when the black ass members were observing them which means that these two groups had no problem in Oguashuku prior to the shooting of yesterday let me play the voice note of the AM member when he was explaining that they were just on their own when this incident happened and I will come back to continue my analysis <laughs> Friendly go by the rogue and there's obvious rogue. Oh more, you don't cast just now for a scent you. You don't boss for Akada. I just duck or shot just now. I just duck or shot just now. They just said to that they observe us. I just duck or shot just now. So you have heard from the AM member and further voice note from the AM members were just voice note when they were angry saying that they want to go into the city of Oguashuku to start pulling hate on members of Black Ass. And this particular matter is still very on ground. If you know that you are a member of AA or you are a member of Black Ass in Oguashuku or Oguashuku Polytechnic, I would advise you to leave that environment immediately because there is nothing more important than your life you can save your life first and then you can come back later but for the now try to save your life so with that out of the way let's dive into today's video so for those of you that has been on the envy family platform for quite some time now you must be aware that there has been a long confraternity clash between black ass and supreme vikings confraternity in ibuzo and how this whole thing started recently was when there was a confraternity war in Oguashuku. some of the vikings members could not find a black ass member so they went to ibuzo to pull a hit on a black ass member and they brought the young man down. This is how the war started again in Ibuzo. However, the community, the vigilante, the security in that Ibuzo came together. They called the leaders of these two fraternities and they made peace between both sides. And since then, the place has been peaceful until the day before yesterday now that day before yesterday the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen is said to have been brought down in the evening 
of that day before yesterday. Now, according to the information, this young man is said to be a member of Black Ass and he was brought down by some young men who are said to be members of Vikings. Now, what happened was a very simple thing that could have been resolved because it is said that this young man who is a Black Ass member went to a place where they sell weed. And the person that owns that place where they sell weed is not even a confraternity member but he is a brother to a vikings member so when this black ass member got to the place where they sell weed it is said that he had altercation with a person that owns the place which is a young man who doesn't belong to anything but his brother is a member of vikings like i just explained a few seconds ago now the black ass member and the young man who is not a courtist got into it there was a heavy altercation and what really caused this altercation was just greeting i think one of them was telling the other that he is not his mate that if he sees him he should greet him and this is how the altercation started when the other person told him that i am not sure i am going to greet you you are not my father and i don't see any reason why i should greet you first so this is the origin of the altercation that both young men have so the young man that owns the ghetto went to tell his brother who is a member of vikings everything that happened between him and the black ass member so his brother who is a member of vikings got angry and he decided to call his own squad to go confront the black ass member as a matter of fact it was not just confrontation that they went for they went to pull a hit on the young man they were looking for this black ass member all over and unfortunately for the black ass member they were able to find him in one of the beer parlor that is when they approached him and they opened fire on him bringing him down the reason for this is because the vikings member said he, he had believed that the black ass member was talking to his brother anyhow because he's believed that his brother is not not a member of any confraternity so this is the reason a lot of people say the vikings went to pull a hit on the member of black ass and after that happened the black ass members got angry and yesterday the black ass his squad went into the street of ibuzo started looking for members of vikings and by this time a lot of people have traveled but they were able to find some vikings members and they opened fire and the vikings members that they fired at one of them had a bullet injury the young man ran with a bullet in his body and his condition is really not known now and in the evening of it the black ass his squad was still in the street of ibozo looking for members of vikings and that is when they found a young man a vikings member that was walking anyhow up and down they pulled a hit on the young man and they shot him the young man tried to run but he couldn't because of the bullet injury and that is when they walked up to the young man and they brought the young man down right now a lot of people in the community have traveled but you know there is still possibilities that people that are members of black ass or vikings that don't live in that particular area might not know that there is a problem in that community so if you belong to any of these groups and you want to visit ibozo in delta state i would advise you to postpone your visit because the city is currently hot the hit squad of both groups are currently in the street of ibozo looking for their members that is going to be seen walking anyhow how up and down they said that this confraternity war is not going to be easy i really hope that the security and the elders of the community step in once again to make peace between this if not there are going to be more youth that is going to be brought down the war is still very much active two people have been brought down one from each group and another vikings member is said to have also sustained a bullet injury and both sides are angry and they are looking for each other anyway you are watching nigerian view